Okay, I'm so excited to share with you guys our Japan vlog. Um, this is the first time we are going to Japan. This was supposed to be a trip that we were supposed to take as a family um, in 2020, like April 2020, cherry blossom season. Very excited to go. And then obviously COVID hit can't go anywhere so now that japan's kind of like slowly opening back up um we finally got to go this trip has probably been postponed like three times so we're very excited um and i can't wait to show you guys what we did oh my goodness we just got to the hotel i am so freaking exhausted it was like a 12 hour flight plus like probably two to three hours of like trying to wait in lines at the airport to like get the pass and go through customs and then we finally got here it's like nine something now um but we made it good morning guys so today is our first full day here in osaka um we were so exhausted when we got in last night that we just like couldn't deal but we have like a little nice view of the hotel i think we have a pretty packed day today but i'm also like traveling with family this is our like april 2020 trip that's been postponed so many times so i'm kind of along for the ride which is nice for the for a change you're unprecedented and i regret that we never talk so when october rolls around I watch my emotions for they bubble over Chasing four leaf clovers Missing you more than I know now We used to walk along the meadow You were pretty, it felt so serene And it's a few years later now But that feeling is still stuck with me the water's frozen over by the lakes So today is our second full day here in Osaka. This is the fit. Um, I got these like fleece lined or like fleece lined tights and they're so comfortable um, and they're gonna keep me warm but this is the fit. It might rain today so let's go. Hello, um, we just, we got back, I took a shower. It is now 11 o'clock. Um, we are just so exhausted. Um, we did like a couple hours in Kobe and then we wanted to go to Hello Kitty Smiles. And to get there from Kobe, you need to get on the train. After you get on the train, you need to take a bus that takes you across the bridge and then from across the bridge then you take a different bus or like a shuttle to get to Hello Kitty Smiles 
and I just like don't feel like it was worth it and like we we definitely struggled with like the public transportation but it was not worth it. It was cute but like I would not do it again. I think like the only way I could justify doing it is like if we had a car and we like rented a car and we were like we drove there because that would be like the easiest way to do it. So if any of you are looking to go into Hello Kitty Smiles like like it was really cute don't get me wrong but like I would not do that again. Okay guys um so we are pretty much all packed up to leave Osaka. We are we're heading to Hiroshima later today or I guess in like 30 minutes 20 minutes um but I wanted to show you guys my little like Cosme haul because Cosme? Cosme? Because I am so excited. So I wasn't planning on doing anything getting anything too crazy because I was going to do most of the shopping in Tokyo like our last stop but I got this lash curler and this one is it's better because it's like flatter so it's better for like asian eyes and then i saw this on tiktok where you can get like a mini lash curler to get like the corners so i did that too i wasn't gonna get this but you know i'm easily influenced this is apparently like a top product it's like a makeup remover and then i also saw this on tiktok and this is like a really fine point um liquid eyeliner i think it says it's 0.1 mm so i'm really excited to try all of these out i already tried this and that's the reason why this lash curler is going in the trash to our hotel here in Hiroshima and I wanted to tell you guys like how wild it was getting here like obviously knowing what we know now we made it everything's fine but um this entire trip I, so I'm traveling with my family and um five is a little bit of a crowd and we were looking at the train ticket to get from Osaka to Hiroshima and we get to the Osaka JR station and we look at the ticket and we're like, um, I don't think this is the station that we need to get to, to get on the train. And, um, so then I like call my mom and I'm like, Hey, um, I think we're at the wrong station. Like this is not the station we should be going to. So we literally like a bolt, we get a taxi, we get two taxis because like we can't all fit in one taxi. And then we like somehow made our way to the other station to get to the other platform right when the train comes. Like I don't think like even if we waited for the elevator, like we would not have made it. Um so we get on the train, we find our seats, we sit down and I text them like the the WhatsApp was like blowing up and it's just me like explaining like the directions, how to get there and I was okay like we don't see them like do we get on the train? Do we not get on the train? Do we wait for them? Do we not? And we we're like, you know what? Okay, we're gonna go on the train. And we sat down, the train started moving, and we're like, damn, they missed it. Let's just look up like the next train option for them. And then the train starts moving, and then the door opens, and 
in my head, there was like no way that they made the train because they were like trailing behind us. They didn't get the taxi like when we got the taxi. And then there they were, like the three of them, like they just opened up the train, like the door. And I was I, like, my jaw literally was on the floor because I was convinced like they missed that train. Um, so we were full of adrenaline that day. Um, obviously in the moment, crazy, wild, terrible. Um, probably don't want to travel with family again, but um, now that we know, like, I feel like that's an experience to share. We just made it to our hotel here in Kyoto. Um, here's a quick little room tour. This one's actually really cute. I do like this. Um, and I did splurge on the king size bed because I feel like all the other beds have been kind of small. Brush my hair, always looking like a mess Oh, and me, I could go and do the press Give it a little more fit, I'll be set And I hope that you'll miss it I stay that now when it's stuck in my bed Day and night, never feeling my best I know, oh well But this time will not be the same again. It's day and now and I'm stuck in my bed Hold on to the lessons we'll take away from this But give me just one last kiss And let me make one more wish I wish that I could show you A heart made of love A heart made of promises I don't wanna give us up But I wish that I could show you A way out of the woods I wish we had the end this hotel and um I was made aware that there would be construction I think like from August or like October something like that to November 4th and then construction would resume like January so I was like oh great like this is fine we can totally still stay here because like the construction is not going to be here during this time had I had known that they would have construction during this time then I would like not stay here right um it's just like not a very enjoyable experience and so we get into the room and i see this notice that says that construction starts november 20th for like i don't know for something here and um the noise is just gonna be from 8 to 5 p.m which like yeah we're not gonna be here for most of the day 
but it's just like not the most enjoyable experience and so shout out to Expedia <laughs> for the rare chance that they're watching this video but um they were really helpful so we are staying here for one night um and then we found another hotel down the street from here so hopefully that should be a lot nicer that should be fine um but not ideal but we're actually going to this specific Uniqlo because I want to get my bag embroidered and this has the quickest turnaround time compared to Ginza which is like two weeks. Let's talk about vintage shopping, secondhand shopping in Japan because I definitely came in with higher expectations. I was excited to see all of the different styles at very reasonable price points and they do have a ton of styles, especially like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, like there's a ton of different styles, but it really wasn't that cheap compared to the US. I could tell myself if I can find a Birkin 25 in like the price range that I'm looking for, then we'll pull the trigger. And I didn't feel like the savings were really that significant. Like some of the ones that I found were about $22,000 compared to in the US, a Birkin 25 is probably like what, 25, 26. So hit up the Chanel specific Amour and I felt like the prices were very high. I don't know if this was like too hyped up on TikTok, which is why they increased their price but I was looking at the Chanel Diana and the Chanel Diana ended up being around 4.2 versus here in the US 6. I'm not gonna lie I was honestly a little bit disappointed because I went in with such high hopes expecting to save a ton of money I'm gonna find these great deals in great condition and it really like wasn't the case. Oh my goodness I've never been so excited to check into a hotel. Our last hotel last night didn't have wi-fi it didn't have air conditioning and we left in like a rush and I'm freaking out over this view we are on the 37th floor holy oh my gosh okay so it's currently like 6 20 we are just about to head out to dinner um dan has a friend here so we are gonna get dinner with them and yeah i'm excited for this place <laughs> So today is our second full day here in Tokyo. Today we are picking up our Uniqlo bags, um, the ones that we embroidered the other day, like I guess the first day that we got here. It was technically ready for pickup last night, but um, we weren't like exactly in that area. So we were like, let's just pick it up today. And then we are heading to Studio Ghibli tour? Studio, what are we doing? Museum. Museum, there it is.
Okay, so we came back from Team Labs and I feel like we kind of just like hung around and like chilled for a little bit. This was kind of like our more relaxing day, but we're just about to head out again. We're going to go to Ginza. We are haven't really gone to Ginza yet, so we're going to do a little bit of shopping slash like let's be honest window shopping and then um we're going to shibuya crossing i really liked team labs um they did a pop-up in the bay area almost 10 years ago and i went to that and i really liked it however i just could not get past the smell it was the smell of like everyone's feet and chlorine it was just like it was a lot i would have preferred that exhibit to like not be barefoot but yeah, but it was still a fun time. Like I would do it again. I just like the smell was a lot. <laughs> You don't need my help No one's help You don't need my help All you need is yourself You said that you can't trust the word that I said And I can't even burn I know that it's hard to forget what I said And I can't even burn it day here in Tokyo um, we have a really exciting day we are going to the Polen store and then we're gonna be doing some shopping and then someone is getting to go to the Harry Potter set studio tour studio tour, studio tour. Oh my goodness, this is the line. It's honestly quite insane. Um, the sales associates did say that people usually wait about an hour and a half to two hours to get into the store. It itself is beautiful. I've been to most Polen stores and I do really like all of the natural sunlight that comes in from the store. While I feel like this store didn't have the most stock available, they did have the lowest price at least when I went because of the yen being low compared to the US dollar. Overall, a really good experience, but the store does get pretty packed. enjoyed it um the food was absolutely de delicious we had so much fun shopping i can't wait to show you guys the haul um but i'll leave another video for you guys here and i'll see you guys next time bye